Good day everyone, my name is Jason C. Zafra, a junior high school teacher applicant from Tobigan District. So today I will be having a teaching demonstration in mathematics. But before that, let me show to you my four A's in my detailed lesson plan. Okay, so listen, let us all stand for the prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class. Okay, before you take your seats, can you pick up the pieces of trash and make sure that all chairs are properly aligned? Okay, very good. So you may now take your seats. Okay, now let us check your attendance. Miss Secretary, who is absent for today? Okay, very good. So everybody is present for today's class. So let's give a hand to everyone. Okay, very good. So now before we go on to our discussion, let us first have a recap. So what was our lesson yesterday? Okay, Angela. Thank you, Angela. So yesterday we have talked all about introduction of algebra. So, talking about algebra class, so by the way, do you have any questions regarding yesterday's topic? Okay, then so far. So, by the way, uh, talking about algebra, algebra is like learning a new language, right? Because it uses several variables and mathematical expressions. So, for you to further understand about algebra, let's have this group activity. Okay? So, you will be divided into two groups. So, group 1 will be row 1 and group 2 will be row 2. So, I have here four fundamental operations. So, group 1 will be working on with the operations addition and subtraction. And group 2 will be working on with uh, multiplication and division. So, what you are going to do is, uh, in 5 minutes, you, will, uh, you are going to fill in the blanks, the appropriate term to be used in the given expressions okay so do you have any question okay so your five minutes starts now okay time is up so let us check your work so for group one uh you have operation addition and subtraction so what do you think uh is the pro uh, is the appropriate term to be used here or what should be filled in the blank very good so it is plus so five plus three how about the second one Yes, so the sum of 6 and a number. So for subtraction, what should be filled the blank? Okay, very good. So 7 minus 2. And for the second one? Okay, very good. So 4 subtracted from 8. Very good, group 1. So now let's proceed to group 2. Okay, what should be filled in the blank? Yes, so that is 3 times 2. How about the second one? Oh, yes, the product of 6 and 3, yes. Now, let's proceed to division. Okay, what should be filled in the blank? Okay, 10 divided by 5. How about the last one? Okay, yes. So, the appropriate term to be used is the quotient of 20 and 4. Okay, good job, everyone. So, I guess you already have an idea to what our discussions will be all about. So, today we will be translating verbal phrases into mathematical expressions, and vice versa. Okay, so for you to appropriately, uh, for you to, uh, to appropriately translate verbal phrases into mathematical expressions, let us first, uh, let us first identify the commonly used terms for the operations uh, provided in the, in the algebra. Okay, so which is the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, for addition class, it is mathematically expressed as A plus B or verbally expressed as the sum of A and B or A increased by B or B more than A or the total of A and B. So, for subtraction, it is mathematically expressed as A minus B or verbally expressed as the difference of A and B, B subtracted from A, A decreased by B or B less than a. And for multiplication class, uh, it is mathematically expressed as A times B or verbally expressed as the product of A and B. And for division class, it is mathematically expressed as A divided by B or the quotient of A and B or verbally expressed as the ratio of A and B or B divided into A. So by the way, now let's try it yourself. So how would you... Uh, Mathematically express these verbal expre verbal phrases. Okay, yes, Beth. Okay, very good. So, 
The answer to that is 20 minus 4. So this is the mathematical expression to these verbal phrases. How about number 2? What is the uh, verbal phrase to these mathematical expressions? Okay, very good. So the verbal phrases is the quotient of 10x and 3. Okay? So now let's have this. Uh, let's have an activity. So this activity is called Match Me Up. Okay? So, I have here three envelopes. So, I have here three envelopes. So, I have here three envelopes containing three papers with verbal phrases and mathematical expressions. So, all you have to do is match the appropriate verbal phrases translation for that mathematical expressions. Okay? Group 1, 2, and 3. Can you pick up a... Uh, can you pick up your end or get your envelope? Okay, thank you. So your time limit starts now. So again, all you are going to do is match the verbal phrases to its mathematical expressions. Okay, now time is up. So let us check your work. So group one. So group one, you have matched one third and two, one third of a number. So very good, group one. Now for group two, so you have matched the sum of a number and nine. Very good. So for group three, group three, of course you have matched the difference twenty one and a number. So good job, everyone. Okay. So I, uh, I now I have to ask you this question. Okay. So, I guess you already have uh, understood our topic. So, let me ask you this question. What helped you understand easily the process of translating verbal phrases and mathematical expressions? Anyone? Yes, Beth? Okay, so, uh, very good. So, uh, using, uh, using the appropriate term and correct operations to be used will help us understand of translating verbal phrases into mathematical expressions and vice versa. So I guess you are now ready for the exercises. So kindly prepare one sheet of paper and answer the following evaluation. Okay, so it composes A and B. Okay. So, all you are going to do is translate the following into mathematical expressions. And for B is translate each mathematical expressions into verbal phrases. So, you have 10 minutes to answer these exercises or the evaluation. Okay, time is up. Okay, let us check your work. Let us check your work. Exchange your, exchange, uh, exchange your paper. Okay, who wants to answer for number one? Okay, yes, that is correct. And the last number? Okay, very good, Kenneth. That is correct. So now count the number of check and pass it, pass your paper forward. Wow, everybody got perfect. So congratulations to each of you. So now get your assignment notebook and copy your assignment. So this is your assignment. Okay. For your assignment, write five mathematical expressions and translate it in at least two ways. So now do you have any questions or clarifications? Okay, then so far, so let us all stand for the closing prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. So that's all for today, class. God bless and thank you for coming. For, thank you for coming. Okay.